Hi, I'm Kelly with Morse Comic Book Stash. And I'm Douglas with By the Brick. And welcome to a new exciting year here at Morse Comic Book Stash. New this week, we have the first amazing fantasy of Spider-Man. It was uh, his first appearance. It's a reprint, of course, from 19, of 1962. Um, this one goes for $10. It came out earlier this year. And who doesn't love Spider-Man? I sure do. I love Spider-Man. The Next amazing week, Spider-Man. The amazing Spider-Man. The other ones are okay. They're not too bad. Next we have uh, All-Star, no it's not All-Star, All-American War, um, Men at War. And this is issue 100. Uh, it only goes for about three bucks, but it's a pretty cool Silver Age comic. This is the same thing, basically, uh, but it's issue 115. Uh, this one also goes for only three dollars. It's got an interesting cover on it. A little more sought after. This is the uh, All-Star Western. This is number two, so which is pretty cool. You don't really find them earlier issues too often. So, $5 for that one. Wild West. Wild West. Same series. Uh, this is issue number four. Sadly, we didn't get three, but uh, this is issue four, and it goes for $5. We did have uh, more comics to show, but... Uh, they ended up going pretty quick this week. So, we're going to move on to video games. First up, we have a Wii U bundle. Uh, it comes with Epic Mickey 2 and Super Mario 3D World. Uh, it also comes with the uh, original antenna for the Wii, so you can play the Wii games on here as well. The gamepad controller. Um, you can play that, play it on just the gamepad with the TV off or on, you know, depends on your preference. Um, it comes with a charging dock right here, and it also comes with uh, two Wii controllers. And it works really well, there's no problems with it. Um, we're asking 180 for the whole bundle. Doug's going to play Mario. We also have Mario Kart 8 with the steering wheel. And uh, it's $35 for just the game or $45 for the pair. Or the steering wheel would be $15 by itself because it's a Mario Kart edition. There you go, Doug. Next up for the Nintendo 64, Killer Instincts 2. Yep, there's Killer Instinct 2. Gold. Gold. Uh, how much is that going for, Doug? I think it's going for five dollars. Not bad, actually, especially for Nintendo sixty four game. Uh, we got a few Super Nintendo games in. Uh, we have Donkey Kong Country, the first one. Uh, it's going for twenty dollars. Next, we have Donkey Kong Country two, and that one's going for twenty dollars as well. And we also have Donkey Kong Country three. This is the uh, Dixie Kong Double Trouble. Uh, this one is also 20 but you can get all three of them for $50. Next up, one of the favorites, Super Mario World. Uh, this one's going for $20. Next up is Super Mario All-Stars. has all the classic Nintendo games on it. Um, this one goes for 20 bucks as well. Mega Man X. This one goes for 30 Um... Uh, if we have Mega Man X2, that one actually goes for about 120 and Mega Man X3 goes for a little over $200. thought that was a little intense. Uh, next up is The Lion King. Uh, this one's only $10. It was a childhood favorite for sure. Along with Aladdin. Aladdin's 20 but another favorite. Does that have the same uh, level skip code as the Sega version? Then I do not know. A -A -B -B -A. I would assume. A -A -B -B -A. Maybe. I still maybe. remember it. And Super Godzilla. I love Godzilla. And Godzilla's going for 10 Godzilla. This is Nintendo Dogs and Cats for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, this is factory sealed, and it's going for $30. And last for the games, we have D for the PlayStation. Rarity. 
it is, it is kind of a hard game to uh, get your hands on. Um, we're asking fifty dollars for it. it. Used to go for like seventy five, eighty. Yeah, uh, a yeah. few years ago actually. Uh, it's a good puzzle game. It's, really, it's actually really fun. It's a puzzle mystery RPG. Real fun, really fun game. I've played it actually. Played in the dark. Played in the dark. Yeah, really makes makes it a little more scary. Uh, we're gonna move on to Legos. And next up in Legos, we have Chronimus. He is, uh, he's got the tattered cape. He's from the uh, Shima sets. He's going for 301. Next up, also in the world of Shima, we have Rossum. It's totally awesome. <laughs> Rossum. I see what you did there. <laughs> Gold pearl cape armor. Uh, let's see, 279 is what he's going for. There you go. Um, and then we got Cragger with the cape. Um, he's three ninety three. A little gold mask. Um, next up we have R seven D four. It's kind of a unique one. You don't see him in very many sets actually. I think he only comes in like one or two. He's going for five. No, seven eighty four. Expensive little guy. Mm. Next up, we have Sabalba from episode one. This little pod racer stance. Seen episode one. Not sure I can uh, stand him up on here. He's only got three legs. Um, he is going for five thirty-four. Next up, we have Watto, also from episode one. He's the one that. Uh, he was the mean one. Yeah, he's the one that worked uh, Anakin to the bone. Um, probably made him Darth Vader. No, maybe not. Probably. Yeah. He's going for 12.26. And last but not least in that one is also from Episode 1, and the older series of uh, Lego in Episode 1 is Padme um, Naberi. And that's going for 6.80. Not sure why she comes with a lightsaber. I think she, comes with a lightsaber. she comes with a lightsaber now. Today she does. All right, and next up, for you Supergirls fans, I'm um, not sure if any of you like the show or not, but we got the uh, Lego Dimensions exclusive Supergirl. Um, this one is going for $35 currently, sealed in pop, or sealed in package. <laughs> um, next up, we have Brickheads. It's a limited edition collector's pack of the Star Wars Ray and Kylo Ren. Is going for thirty five dollars right now. That's pretty cool. They show the back of their heads. Huh? Oh yeah, on the back you got the back end, and I guess they show what other sets on the side. Pretty cool. Go. Next up, we have the Hobbit: The Battle of the Five Armies Attack on Lake Town. That is going for forty five dollars. We got Doc Ock Truck Heist going for $35. Also sealed in box. A little bit of damage on the box, however, but the set is still good. I like how creative they get with these now. Next up, back to Bionicles, which are expiring and on their way out. Well, they are out, so get them while you can. First up, we have, let's see, the Skull Slicer selling for $20. Sealed in pack. A little bit of box, you know, shelf wear. Um, also selling for $20 is Pohato, Master of the Stone, if I pronounce that correctly. Probably not. But that one is actually in really good shape. And last but not least in the sealed sets for LEGO, we have the Clone Wars edition of the Millennium Vulcan. This is one of the more sought-after ones because, in my opinion, too, the most well-built. Like It's the only one that you can grab a part of it and carry around and it's not going to fall apart in your hands. Uh, it's really well built, really sought after, uh, from 2011. Nice. That's all for that one. Um, next up, we're going to get into some action figures. First up, we have Transformers. Who we got here? We have Sky Linux. And he's going for $15. We don't normally get Transformers in too often. Uh, we do have some opened ones as well. Um, 
This is the Septicon Flameware Spark Hunter. It's a pretty cool little figure. This is the Marvel Legends series of Spider Man. Uh, it comes with a couple different heads and as well with different hands to have regular hands or to be shooting the web. Got a cool package. Really cool package. It's shiny. Definitely hold on to the box for that one. Oh, yeah. Next up, giving those Power Ranger fans. This is from the Legacy Collection. Um, this was the first run from last year. Um, it's going for about $35. Uh, when they first came out, they were originally 20 bucks. So they've gone up in price quite a bit, especially with the movie coming out last March. I know the Red Ranger goes for a bit more, don't you? The Red Ranger goes for almost $50. Bit more. I'm sad I got rid of mine. I had one. Of course. And last, this is a Star Wars the from the Black series. Um, it's a centerpiece. Uh, Luke Skywalker. It lights, lights up. Yep, it yeah. lights up. Uh, three AAA batteries. Whether or not it comes with some, probably not. <laughs> but three AAA batteries. It lights up. It's a really cool centerpiece. Uh, they're going for about thirty-five dollars as well. That's all for this week. Feel free to check in next week. Um, like and subscribe to our page. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.